I've got three easy and free digital games to use to help your middle school math students prepare for your end of year state math test. If you are a middle school math teacher, keep watching because I've got you. Let's talk about how to test prep without it being one big dumpster fire of overwhelm. If you are new around here, my name is Kathy Martin and I help 6th, 7th, 8th grade and Algebra 1 math teachers experience more aha moments in the classroom and save time and money with their lesson planning and resources. So let's dive in some, into some of my favorite games, digital games to play for test prep. Number one is Kahoot. You've probably already have heard of Kahoot. You've probably already played it, but it's seriously so fun and it really never fails. But while I love Kahoot because let's be honest, nothing beats the Kahoot music. There are some things that I don't love about Kahoot and that takes me to actually game number two, which is quizzes. I actually prefer quizzes over Kahoot because the thing that I don't love about Kahoot is that I feel like it often forces the kids who need a little bit more thinking time to rush because everybody has to answer the question before the next question is you know, popped up onto the screen. So if you have students who need a little bit more thinking time, this can cause some anxiety and some feelings of hurriedness or they feel like they have to rush or they just have to guess because they don't wanna be the kid that's holding everyone behind. Quizzes is great because you can, just like Kahoot, you can pick previously made you know, games or tests or whatever you wanna call it, um, but quizzes allows each kid to move on to the next question at their own pace. So on the board, like when everyone is playing, you can see that you see each individual kid's scores and like the more green there is across their name, the more they're getting right. The more red that they have, they are getting them wrong. So you can see, all right, if you're getting like all, if the whole bar is red, maybe that kid is either guessing and just moving really fast, or maybe they don't understand what they're doing. So they're just picking the wrong answers. Um, but it's really great because it really allows you to see, okay, which questions are kids getting wrong? Which questions are they getting right? Where do I need to maybe review some more? Maybe this is surprising because I thought they understood it, but they really don't. I love quizzes because it's more, it just helps all kids work at their own pace. Next, I have actually a game that I made on Google Slides and you can make it too. I call it the Math Challenge Showdown. It's basically like Jeopardy. Um, and so I have created this Jeopardy game board. Um, it's got a fun GIF of the rock and this fun cute penguin, but this is totally customizable. And all now that I've made the template, I'm pretty much good to go because I can just keep reusing this for any math topic that I have. So the way that students will play, and this is actually like a blank template, we're gonna go into slideshow mode. And so you can see here that if I'm playing with my class and a student says, okay, I pick one step equations for 100, I'm gonna click this 100 button and then there's the question here. Obviously this is a blank because I haven't fully um, filled it out yet, but that's how it would work. And there's a button um, that you can't see, but it's gonna take you back to the game board. So the next kid says, okay, I want distributed property for 400. Then there would be a distributed property question right here. And what I love about this is that it's customizable. So if I don't want to do, if I don't want a vocabulary subject, I don't want one step equations, maybe I wanna change one step equations to finding slope. And all of these questions will be about finding slope, right? Um, and so on and so forth because it's customizable. I can easily make this so that um, the, the categories are what we are doing in class or I can use this as test prep for when, you know, we need to practice all the previously, you know, previous topics that we maybe haven't seen in a while. Okay, so I'm gonna get out of here. If you are looking for ideas for more like digital, digital resources, like individual digital resources, some of the activities that I love personally the most are pixel art. This is an example of fractions, decimals, and percents. 
So the way that pixel art works is it's a blank, basically Google uh, Excel sheet. Um, and you can use this in Excel or you can use this uh, in Google Sheets, um, but it's self-correcting and that's why I really, really love it. So in this activity, all about fractions, decimals, and percents, this is asking, the first question is asking me, write the fraction three-fourths as a decimal. So I'm going to write three-fourths as a decimal. Okay. 0.75. Hit enter. So you can see here that a strip of blue has appeared on the screen. This tells me, ooh, that means I got it right. Okay. Uh, write the decimal 0.56 hundredths as a percent. Okay. Boom. Now you can see a strip of black has appeared. Well, you might be wondering, what happens if you get it wrong? What do you mean that it's self-correcting? All right, so the next question says, write 78% as a decimal. So what if I accidentally hit 0.77? You can see, nothing happened. You are correct. That means I got it wrong. Oops, okay, so once I get it right, boom, another piece of um, the image has popped up. In the end, when your students have answered all the questions, they will get this super cute Among Us character as their final answer. So I'm gonna go ahead and erase all those now. One final activity that I love very much that's super, super fun if I am uh, giving my students some individual digital activities is these mystery puzzle uh, activities. This is all about solving one step equations by adding and subtracting, and it's the same thing, self-correcting. So here I have M plus 12 equals 17. So my answer is gonna be five. Okay. Oh, I, I know I got it right because a piece of the image has popped up. Next question, y minus 10 equals negative 3. What if I did negative 7? Whoops. Okay, that means I did something wrong because nothing happened. So, oh, oops, it's not negative 7. It's positive 7. So a piece of the image now has appeared. So I know, bam, I got it correct. And when students have finished all of the questions, the whole image will reveal itself. And I love it so much because students will want to know, they gotta know what the image is. And there you have it. Some of my favorite digital games, Kahoot, Quizzes, Math Challenge Showdown, and some of my favorite individual digital resources to use in your classroom. Check out the next video where I'm gonna be sharing how to use practice tests as test prep, but make it fun and engaging. You're not gonna believe, you're not gonna believe it, but students, won't even know that they are test prepping. Register now for our next free training all about test prep success, especially for middle school math teachers, where I'm gonna show you everything you need to prepare for our state test with easy, relevant, practical math strategies that you can easily implement and start right away. And you'll be able to print a certificate for one hour of attendance that could serve as professional development. All you have to do is click the link right below this video and sign up for our next free training. See you there.